Aaron Stoner. Good evening. My name is Aaron Stoner. I'm a citizen of Los Angeles. <clears throat> moral leader and social reformer Mahatma Gandhi once stated that the greatness of a nation and its moral progress can be judged by the way its animals are treated. So I start by asking you all, what does this vulgar display of excessive force by Jeffrey Solomon tell the people of the world how the city of Hawthorne thinks and feels about living beings? What do Solomon's actions and the manner in which you are presently handling this situation tell the world about Hawthorne's moral progress? Avoidable suffering is a central problem of morality. It is unjustifiable to exclude animals from this realm of moral concern. The ability to suffer gives all sentient beings the right to equal consideration, regardless of skin color, gender, and yes, even species. Max was a sentient being capable of pain and suffering, and he was also a beloved friend and family member. Now, a few people stood here at last month's meeting and claimed to be experts on dogs and the use of tasers. Well, I had the pleasure of interviewing a real dog expert over the phone just last week. This expert wanted to remain anonymous as she works directly with the training of canine dogs for the police department and has trained police officers on how to handle aggressive dogs. All of this training without the use of a come-along pole, which the woman at the last meeting claims is the only way to handle an aggressive dog. This is simply not true. The real expert I spoke with is a fully licensed and accredited canine trainer and behaviorist with decades of experience. She further stated that she speaks the canine body language just as some people speak French or German. The real expert was greatly disturbed by how Solomon assessed and overreacted to Max's presence. She stated repeatedly that Max was showing no signs of aggression and that he was behaving nonchalant and generally trying to figure out what the hell is going on here with my owner and these men. Now all of that changed when Officer Solomon approached Max head on and attempted to grab at Max's collar. In his failed attempt to do so, Solomon merely takes a swipe at Max's face. So now, instead of defusing the situation, Solomon elevated it by not following common sense. The dog expert stated that you should never grab at a dog's collar or near its face neck area as the dog will see this as a direct threat. She believes that when Solomon first approached Max, that Max began showing what are called protracted warning signs. Now everyone knows what a tense or upset dog looks like and everyone knows you do not approach a tense and nervous dog head on, let alone take a swipe at its face. Now, Solomon should have known better, considering he is a dog owner himself. The dog expert also stated that tasers and mace do work and are effective tools to turn away an aggressive dog. To further back this up, I merely point to the hundreds of thousands of mail carriers that carry and use pepper spray on a daily basis to ward off aggressive dogs and do so effectively. There are also videos and stories appearing on the Internet showing police officers successfully deterring aggressive dogs with taser guns. In fact, there's a video of a police officer tasing an extremely aggressive Rottweiler. The dog expert also supplied me with a canine safety card, which was issued to all L.A. police officers as part of their training in the late 90s and early 2000s. On this card, it is plainly stated that a dog gains confidence with its owner. Do not enter a dog's territory when it is clear he does not want you there. Stop. Stand still. And stay calm. All of this, again, is common sense. And Solomon does exactly the opposite. While I agree that police officers nationwide do need to be trained to be more considerate of animals, I argue that it was not Solomon's lack of training that led to the killing of Max. We are outraged because Solomon lacks courage, skill, and common sense. He is emotionally unstable, and he is a creator of chaos. A peace officer's first instinct should not be to pull their firearm, as Solomon very clearly does in this video. We do not feel safe with trigger-happy, overzealous peace officers walking our streets. Solomon fired four live rounds into the direction of flat, hard concrete with crowds of bystanders nearby. He put all of those there in the vicinity in severe danger, more so than any real aggressive dog ever could. Now, one of Solomon's friends spoke at the last meeting and pleaded emotionally that Solomon is a dog owner and loves dogs, to which I argue that I'm sure Solomon also has human companions and loved ones as well. But that did not stop, stop Solomon from kicking Anthony Goodrow repeatedly in the ribs while he lay on the ground, handcuffed, and at the mercy of his attackers. Solomon's brazen lack of respect for life has already cost the city a million dollars in damages and the life of a family's beloved companion. What more do you want him to do to prove that he is not fit to serve the city? Solomon has to go. Thank you. Thank you.